Hello and welcome back to Presenter Media. My name is Kara and today we're going to address one of the most frequently asked questions that we get. That is, how do I insert an animation into an email so it shows up as an embedded object as opposed to just an attachment? For many email browsers that are based on the web, such as Yahoo, Outlook Online, Hotmail, and Gmail, everything stays the same. You can insert a picture or a GIF or an animation for that matter and you'll be able to see it embedded right there within the message. Unfortunately, if your recipient is receiving it in a program such as Outlook, not the web base where you go to Outlook.com but where you actually have it come with Microsoft Office, they will not be able to see the animation that is embedded in the email attachment. Unfortunately, this is just a limitation of Outlook so we're not able to really work around this. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you what it is that I'm talking about as far as how all of this works together and how you can still be able to have some animation depending on who your recipient is. So what we have in the background here is a animation that was inserted by using Gmail. We're now opening the same animation in Gmail as if we had sent it to ourselves and received it. I'm going to go ahead and move on to a couple other programs opening that same animation. Here we have Hotmail and next we're going to move along to Outlook officially. Either of these will be able to actually have that animation play in the background as well as Yahoo. If you receive the animation however in Microsoft Outlook and you open it up in the Outlook program, this is what's going to come along with your Microsoft Office suite, the animation itself is not going to be playing. You can try to save it as a picture and save it as a GIF, however as I'm showing here in the background, once you try to open that GIF back up, it's not actually going to play. It's going to open up just that first frame again and it will be a static image. Now we're going to go ahead and repeat the same process, but we're going to be sending from Microsoft Outlook program. So when you insert a picture, the picture will insert as a static image. However, once you receive it, first we're going to take a look at the Outlook version. Again, this is a static image. Next, we're going to take a look at our Hotmail. We have animation in here. We're going to go ahead and pull up Yahoo next. And again, that animation is going to be intact. And then lastly, we are going to go through Outlook. Again, this is owned by Microsoft, Outlook is, as well as Hotmail. So they're going to be extremely similar to each other. And Outlook Online is taking over Hotmail. So you'll be able to open anything that you have an Outlook account with online. Unfortunately, again, using the Outlook program itself, you're not able to be able to view any of the animations from an embedded file. An option that you do have, however, is if you do decide to add an animation, you can insert an attachment as opposed to inserting a picture. So we're going to attach a file and locate that GIF animation. So that GIF is there attached, and I'll go ahead and attach the picture as well and we'll go ahead and send that just to ourselves as a test and I'm going to open this up again still in the same program. Notice that the image is static however if we go to the animation we can double click on that and tell it to open. It's going to open up in an Internet Explorer browser and we're going to have that animation in place now. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you so you are now able to insert your own animations into an embedded file within either Microsoft Outlook Online, Yahoo, Hotmail, or Gmail. And remember, you can send from Outlook programs, you just can't receive in them and be able to see the animations normally. My name is Kara with Presenter Media. Thanks for watching.